So we are here today to do the groundbreaking for the borehole drilling project at Luala Vocational uh, Training Center in Suba South uh, Sub-County of Homa Bay County. As uh, Lake Basin Development Authority, this is uh, one of our mandates as a regional development authority to support uh, provision of clean water to communities. This particular water project will be useful to the community of Luala but also more critically to this uh, institution because it has students who are unable to have access to clean water and uh, as, 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 as you heard from the management of this institution is a challenge with the dropout because of uh, scarcity or lack of water. The water will also support uh, the church that is uh, the sponsor of this institution as well as the community that uh, the project is uh, valued at uh, 8 million Kenya shillings and uh, the major components of the project is uh, the sinking or drilling and equipping of the borehole. There is a solar component to power it so that there will not be an issue with the electricity cost so it's renewable energy and uh, has a lifespan of uh, at least 10 years. The other component of uh, this project is uh, a raised water tank, 24,000 cubic meters, and uh, the project has a capacity to serve 9,000 people, and uh, that is not a, a, small, uh, a small project. And we expect that the entire community of Wala will uh, be in a position to access clean and good water and it will go a long way in supporting the government's effort in mitigating, mitigating the effect of, of COVID pandemic, which has been with us for now close to two years. And uh, sanitation and clean water is a, is a major requirement to help contain the spread of uh, COVID. <laughs> Hapa gwasi tulikuwa tunateseka kuhusu maji. Maji liko na unatusumbua sana. Lakini tumeshukuru leo mheshimiwa mheshimiwa ametuletea maji. Tumeshukuru kabisa. Hata kama ukina mama tulikuwa tunateseka tunaangalika juu ya maji, saa hii tuko na maji. Tumeshukuru. Asante. Tulikuwa tuna tra traveling distance mingi. Toka hapa hadi bahari ni mbali. Sasa hii tumeshukuru juu ameleta maji sana. Kina chukua masaa mangapi kuondoka? Mimi asana mimi ni tunenye tunachukua tunasanya maji kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa sita kabla tujapata maji hata. Eh. Sasa tumeshukuru. Na labda magonjwa mlikuwa mnapata? Magonjwa tulikuwa tunapata juu ya maji machafu. Hayo maji tulikuwa tunachota chota tu kwa damu. Na damu ni si safi. Eh. That this institution has been suffering, they have been lacking water, there was no way I could do water or drill water in this school using CDF funds because this is a devolved function. It is not a national government institution. But I'm happy and I thank God that the Lake Basin Development Authority, and I want to thank the CEO of Lake Basin Development Authority for prioritizing that institution and allocating a total sum of 8 million. Today we are launching the construction of the water project in this institution, which is not just going to serve the institution alone. It is going to serve the institution, the vocational and training center. It is also going to serve the nearby church, the Seventh Day Adventist Church, which is the sponsor of this institution. But it is also going to serve the community about 300 or more households are going to benefit from this water project. I am happy that through my partnership with the Lake Basin Development Authority, today this project is becoming a reality. I am just guaranteeing and promising the CEO that I'm going to fight hard and push for more funding for Lake Basin Development Authority in the supplementary budget so that they can have more money to do more water projects in other areas. In this region, it is not just this one. I am aware that we are going to have another water project being launched today at Nyamogo 
girls' secondary school, which I also requested them to consider besides this institution. Because it is not just Suba South that has water problem. Water problem is a problem in this county and this region as a whole. Besides that, there are also other water projects which will be done, I know, in Rongo and also in Suna East, where Junet Mohammed is the MP. There are also water projects we are doing in Rongo, where Paula Bur is the MP, and also Karachuonyo, where Adipo Kume is the MP. We are going to make sure that there are more water projects and more funding for these water projects. Uh,